Okay, so we have a 16-bar loop of some drums that are ready to go for our track here. Uh, now we can start processing them in the drum bus. So this is going to make them sound more cohesive and come up together in volume as a unit. Uh, basically, it just makes everything sound glued together, hence why I'm using a plugin called The Glue by a company called Cytomic. So I'm dragging that in to Ableton. And you can also use the Ableton version. There's actually a version called Glue Compressor that you can go ahead and drag it on. And it's the same idea. I like to use the one by the uh, actual company rather than the Ableton version because uh, I just find it has better results. For some reason, I just get a better result with this one versus the one with Ableton. Your results may vary. Try whichever one you find. Uh, any that you like more. Okay, so we have a compressor on our drum bus track. Compressors all basically work the same. You're gonna have a set of parameters here that are the main ones you're gonna wanna pay attention to. No matter what compressor you're using, they will have a threshold, a makeup, release, ratio, and attack uh, parameter. And the best way to do this is to set your attack really high at the highest it goes, set your ratio all the way down, and your release as well. And then you're going to just gradually bring back this threshold until you hear the difference in your track. And then you're gonna notice that when you drag back the threshold, it's gonna lower the volume. And you're gonna to have to make up for that volume with this parameter right here. That's why it's called makeup, it makes up for the volume. But the idea is, is that when, when this parameter does bring up the volume, the sound is more cohesive. You're hearing the compressed signal coming up rather than just the volume coming back up. So that's why a lot of people will ask, well, why don't you just raise the volume up of the group bus to make all the drums louder? That doesn't work in the same way. Using it with compression, it comes up in a more cohesive sound uh, that all of the elements coming through this compressor are now squeezed together and glued together to basically sound as one cohesive unit. Um, and it just is a better result rather than just raising up the volume. Uh, that's kind of the main point of compressors is that they squash or either bring up, they squash peaks that are too high or they bring up uh, parts of volume that are too low to make it one consistent volume level uh, for the listener. So in this case, we're going to have everything brought up at a nice solid level. So we're going to press play here and then bring back the threshold until we hear an effect. Okay, so you can hear it lower in volume. We're gonna bring this up now to hear how it sounds. Okay, let's take a listen without it. Now with it. So some small compression is basically just applied to it. I don't want to do a lot of processing on the drums uh, as far as group buses go. I usually don't. All I usually say is you just need a little bit of compression applied on the drum bus to uh, have a nice cohesive sound at the end after you have all your drum elements figured out and everything. Just a small amount of compression just to polish them up is all it's needed. Let's go ahead and check how many uh, loops we are hitting, actually. So 
इसे थोड़ा सा कम करते हैं यहाँ पर Okay, I think that should be good for the compression. So yeah, once you have your overall drum section uh, kind of set up here and then processed, uh, I believe you're ready for the rest of the track. So this is enough of a loop to give us, you know, enough of gap in the timeline to to set up a nice melody with some key changes and everything, and go from there. But I think for now, uh, we have a solid drum idea at least going up for our EDM track. Thank <laughs> you.